Okay guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday and happy day two of working from home. All right, so we have our Kobe quote of the day. It is important to inspire people. All right, so make sure you guys have your notebook and your pencil and we're just gonna go right to our lesson. So you don't have to copy um, this obviously, but today make sure you write your um, you write your title in your notes because you will be taking pictures of all your work and sending it to me um, on Friday in a Word document. Okay, so let's begin. 9.2 multiplying by 1,000 and 10,000. Our goal today is to multiply decimal tenths, hundredths, and thousands by 1,000 and 10,000. So before we begin, let's just go ahead and review. Go and write number one, review, whole numbers. And you guys are going to go ahead and write your answers. I'm going to flash three photos, I mean, well, three um, problems on the screen. And you're going to pause the video and answer all three. So here you go. All right, pause the video. Okay, so 56 times 10 is 560. 100 times 45 4,500, and 980 times 1,000 is 980,000. So if you guys got all those correct, very good. This is just review from grade five and a little bit of grade six. So at, if you guys got that right, you guys already know that 56 is really 56 decimal zero or point zero. And because it is a whole number, it is to the left of the decimal. So what you guys did is when you multiplied that by 10, you moved your decimal place over once, right? Because it's one zero. And you put a zero in that place. So your new number is 560. So the product is 560. So you did the same exact thing for 45. You put, you move your decimal place over twice, one, two, and that's how you got 4,500. So you're going to put that same exact concept and you're going to include that in the decimal problems. So let's try letter A together. So go ahead and skip a line and go ahead and write number two. And here is letter A. 5.6 times 10. All right, so you move your decimal place over once and you got 56. All right, let's try letter B. 27.9 times 10. All right, so you got, you move this decimal place over. So our answer is seven, two, uh, 279. All right, this one's a little, this one's bigger, 100. So 0.84 times 100. So you take your decimal and you're not gonna move it over once, you're gonna move it over twice. So one, two. So our product is 84. All right, so everyone's pretty familiar with uh, multiplying by 10 and 100. All right, so you are going to do the same exact thing now, but instead of 10 and 100, you're just going to multiply them by 1,000 and 10,000. So skip a line. We're at number three. Letter A is 1,000 times 3.2. So you're going to take your um, your number and you count me zeros. So we have one, two, three zeros. I'm going to move my decimal over to the right how many times? Three times. So one, two, so a zero is going to go there, three. All right, so now our answer is 3,200, right? Because we want one, two, three. My decimal place is right here to the right of the number. All right, let's try letter B. Go ahead and pause and do this one by yourself. Okay, so we have three zeros for a thousand. So I'm going to move my decimal place over one, two, three. All right, so our new number is 2,000, I mean, our product is 2,420. All right, final one, 10,000. So 10,000 times 65.28. So we know that 10,000 has four zeros, and we're just gonna move this over four times. So start at your decimal. One, two, three, zero goes there, four. So now my decimal is going to be here, and my product is 652,800. 
All right, so you should have all these written in your notebook. Um, we're going to do one by yourself, but in um, two word problems. Three word problems, sorry. All right, let's begin. Number four. Miss S is going to try to run 88.5 kilometers in one year. How many meters will she be running? So you just need to ask yourself, hmm, how many meters are in a kilometer? And from what you learned in measurement, we know kilo means a thousand, so 1,000 meters equals a kilometer. All you do is you take your 1,000 and we're going to multiply that by 88.5. All right, so we have here 88.5 times 1,000, just like you did earlier. One, two, three. So I'm going to move this over once, twice, a third time. So my number is... 88,050 meters. So Miss S will be running 88,050 meters in a year. Okay, so everyone good? All right, why don't you guys try letter B by yourself? Koba the cat walked 0 0.04 kilometers. Express the distance in meters. That just means the same exact thing. How many meters did he walk? Okay, so pause the video, try by yourself. All right, so same exact question. How many meters on a kilometer? It's 1,000. So I'm going to do 0 0.04 times 1,000. OK, so we have three zeros. So one, two, three. My answer is 40 meters. Kobu walked 40 meters. All right, last question. Miss S wants to paint her room. The area of her room is 5.13 meters squared. Express the area in square centimeters. So my question here is, hmm, I want to find centimeters. So I got to say, well, how many centimeters are in a meter? I know that centi is 100. So there is 100 centimeters in a meter. So I'm going to take 5.13 and multiply that by 100. Right, how many centimeters do we have? Okay, so count my zeros, one, two. So I'm going to move it over twice. One, two. My answer is 512.3 centimeters. That is a very small. <laughs> okay, all right, let's move on. So for your homework today, you're going to go back to your math schedule, check your Nelson link. Then you're going to try the basketball game. Some of them you'll have to work out on the side, and you're going to see later. So if you look at your link, um, here it is. We have Tuesday, 9.2 link. And we did this just now in our lesson, so a lot of these are pretty easy. Um, same exact thing. You only have eight questions for today. Once you're finished, you're going to try this basketball game. It's pretty easy. Most of them, also the music's really loud, so turn down your stuff. Okay. 1.2 times 100, two zeros, one, two. So I know my answer is 120. Okay, so you're just gonna play that. All right, guys, great job today. Um, thank you everyone for liking your videos and acknowledging that you've seen them. I will be here, so message me if you need any help. All right, bye guys.